Hello and welcome back to the channel and it's been a long time but I've been busy. I want to show you what we've been doing. So completely transformed our main bathroom in the house. Um, wasn't an easy job, it turned into a mammoth job if anything and um, I wasn't, I, I didn't film it uh, right from the offset. I said I'm not going to do it. I just want to sort of crack on and get it done. Anyway, that was the end of last year. We're now in June and I've just done the final clean to um, to this. So before we dig into um, what it is now, I just want to talk you through what we did um, and what sort of prompted us to do this and why it was such a big job. So what I'll do is I'll probably talk through it as I am now uh, and then just chuck in a load of photos I took along the way um, showing you what we did. So first things first is um, the bathroom originally. So I can show you as it was now, um, but basically the toilet was a bit further over. We had a sink unit there. Toilet was across there. Um, and I'll, I'll put in a photo now that you'll see. So to the left uh, is the bath, sorry, um, toilet sink, and then the shower was in this corner. And um, yeah, that were, that were that. Now, when I was trying to sort of figure out how what we wanted um, in the bathroom, it was proving very difficult with the layout. Now it was a rectangular shape um, and I could just not fit a big shower that we wanted, a full-size bath that we wanted, and a toilet and sink in a reasonable sort of layout. I'll put in a few sort of the designs we did, um, but the conclusion to that was to move this wall. Now, so this whole wall now is new. We had a big sort of landing as you walked upstairs. Now, excuse sort of what it is. It's a work in progress and um, it is the next job. Um, but, so we took down the old wall, and again, I'll put some photos in now. Um, stud wall it was, not supporting the trusses, um, and the roof runs sort of that way, uh, the full width of the house. Um, removed the wall, built a new stud partition wall, much better quality build it was horrendous before um plasterboard at this side and um, new door framing the door hutched over slightly um it, we robbed some of the space up here but as you can see still plenty big enough as you walk upstairs it's um still a good size so that was the first job was to create more space in the in the bathroom now as we started ripping out, removing sort of the plasterboard or the tiles even, it was easier just to move, remove the plasterboard, take it back to brick. It would make the electrical work easier, the plumbing a lot easier. Um, and that was that. Then we got to the floor, starting to take up um, sections of it and decided it was so uneven it was horrendous. It was water damage from previous leaks. Um, again, put some photos in down the stud wall where the shower tray had leaked and the silicon had failed. Um, so we decided to rip the floor up, complete access to everything, and it did make it easier. Um, however, there were a bit of work to level everything up and get it back to what it were, which I'll show you now. Uh, and then we popped in a new floor. With the new floor down, um, the plumbing sort of first fixed, the waste pipes um, done, we wanted. The goal with the bathroom was to have everything hidden. So I don't want pipes sort of, uh, you know, on show. No boxing in, I hate boxing in. Um, so if possible, obviously if you have no other option, you've got to do it, but if you can help it, get rid of it. So we've got, waste pipe that runs under the floor for the shower, the bath exits straight out, the toilet exits straight out, and the sink basin unit, as you can see, exits through the back there. So that was that done. The radiator before was under the window, making it more accessible for the bath 
and the uh, the shower we uh, we wanted to move that so again something we added um uh, you know new, ran the new pipes in ready to connect in so that with that we got it replastered so this wall that wall um is with acoustic board and then sound insulation in there is our little boys room um so i wanted to try and make the acoustic benefits um as best we can if you like um, and that with that so again i'm popping photos in as we go here to, to kind of give you an idea of what we've done um i got it skimmed now i did play, pay a plasterer to do that 350 pound um i've never skimmed before it's something i want to do just didn't have the time two days he got it done now with the shower we... so we have done aqua panel there and then moisture board there reason being water's going to go in this area more than that back um so it weren't an issue and i've tanked the whole sort of shower area all around there with the sort of map a rubberized tanking system um i'm definitely not concerned of any leaks um from sort of ingress from the shower and whatnot so with that we got it tiled um well we didn't get it tiled uh, my dad did the most of the tiling um, he's probably done more work than a lot more work than i have in here uh, just with time of work and things um, but we decided to go with the help of instagram full tiled wall there full tiled there with a niche so if i just show you in there and then half tile along there just to kind of segregate wet area getting slightly less wet area into the although wet area but not so much and we like the sort of contrasting um trim uh, and everything which we've gone for chrome trim contrasting all the chrome matching and then we did opposite round the niche as you can see with the chrome on the front to match everything now the tiles we have here if of interest are Porcelanosa, Rodano, Ikero, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, and I'll, I'll pop links down below to every product we've got in here. Um, and then the trim, very specific with the trim because um, I always think it looks a bit cheap. So we went for Porcelanosa again. It's brass, if I remember rightly. Really good quality, thick sort of trim, as you might be able to see there and uh, just really gives a bit more of a quality finish. Um, so yeah, that was kind of tiling and that with that. So what I'll do now is kind of talk you through the finished product, what we've got, why we chose what we chose, and some cool features that we've got included in the, uh, in the bathroom itself. And what I will just say before we go in, apologies for the mess, it's just what I've been tidying in there, if you see it. So um, just give it a good, thorough, deep clean. So where shall we start? With the uh, sort of this area here. So this was the old shower. Um, the old shower actually come, I think the wall was about there. So the shower, if you like, was here. Really tight space. Again, I'll just put a photo in to show you. So what we've done, Utopia, as you can just see, luster unit. They come pre-built with light there, soft close, and then a built-in light there to light up, which I quite like. They're not cheap, very expensive, but you do get quite a good quality finish with them. Glass, glass, uh, sorry, glass front. Um, and then for the plumbing, as you can see, just goes out there and I bought some sort of um, access panels just to neaten up where the holes were for the uh, the plumbing to go out and then kind of run down there and outside and where the water feeds come up through the wall just neaten things up and uh, quite happy with that then to match downstairs we've gone with the same matching grow taps just to give uh, I, I like things matching as uh, you'll get the theme 
uh, shortly. So that's the unit, Luster from Sphinx Interiors. Now, they're a Yorkshire based company. Um, I think they do online, um, but as I was passing on while I was out and about, um, I popped in. But that, while we're on the subject, and the toilet, uh, the matching WC unit, concealed with rack ceramics toilet and uh, you've got the sort of eco oops let me press that eco flush sort of thing and soft close seat i think they i think the toilet i got from uh, bathroom planet if i remember rightly uh, and again matching with the glass it's hard to see but um that is glass there um so toilet and sink now with the bath i am yet undecided whether we go for a bath panel to match but we'll see uh, i don't mind the uh, the white i think it looks quite modern um now the panels as you can see are not quite in i'm just waiting for three brackets to turn up so um, although it looks finished, it's not quite so. Yeah, don't judge the uh, poor fitment if you like. Taps, we've gone for grow again. Um, and then the bath is an ideal standards bath. Um, can't decide on it. I think it looks fantastic. What I'm not happy with, and I did question it, is the bath panel, it's hard to see it. As you can see, there is touching at either side, and the bath is arched. Now, it's arched four millimetres and I'm told four millimetres is the tolerance. I don't know, but it doesn't look right to me, but it is what it is. And uh, the actual overall finish looks cracking, to be honest. Now, back into this corner, we have Proof Vision toothbrush holder and charger. These things are amazing. In our previous house, um, Proof Vision were kind enough to actually gift me one of those, just a single one. Um, the double weren't out when, when I got that. And then when we moved out, we've never had it since. Whereas now, they do a nice double holder, perfect. And uh, yeah, toothbrush just sits on there charging. And then we've got porcelain Elsa, toilet uh, towel rail holder. And then same matching, Porcelain Elsa, toilet roll holder there, looking great and uh, all fancy. Now, the mirror, so the mirror turns on with the light. So if uh, I can get both in, there you go. And so do the unit lights. So there we go, on. Now that is an art former mirror. Again, you'll see if you've watched pre previous videos when we did the downstairs toilet, we've got very identical mirror just smaller in here um, but lovely sort of finish really good quality actually and I think they're made in Poland um, and come over extractor fan so expel air matching throughout the house we've got them downstairs now in here I chose the humidity one um, and time now if you can listen that is on um, what it does is when you turn the light off it times for a little bit and then drops down to a really low uh, pace. However, I think I'm gonna change it for just an all time one because given the size of the room, the, uh, the window, vents on the window, I don't think it's necessary and it's just making noise for no reason. So I think I'll put that one in our own suite when we do it. Um, moving over here, the blind, blinds to go, pretty box standard sort of blind, nothing special. A towel radiator, again, as you can see, just a chrome towel radiator. Now, this one in particular, I never knew they did this. Um, you guys probably know a lot more than me, but that is a dual fuel one. Reason, what that means is we have standard sort of central heating there. Um, so it, it has, it's all plumbed in and with the central heating comes on and off um, as per the schedules, uh, etc. Now, this side, as you can see there, is a Terma heating element that's electric. So in the summer, 
when you turn your heating off. Um, sorry, I'm, apologies for the echoing, so I'll just come out where I can. In the summer, when you turn your heating off, the you can have the schedule on the heating element. So you turn that off, your heating never comes on, but your towels can still dry with that heating element. And honestly, it's brilliant. I'll show you, it's controlled from my phone. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll fire it up in fact and show you. So as you can see on my phone, and then it's there. So if we turn the temperature up, it's got it, and there you go. And then we can turn it up more and more. And then on the app, you can set schedules uh, for whatever you want. I've not actually done it yet, but there you go. So brilliant as we're coming into summer now, we can leave that on, turn that off and um, yeah, be done with it. Now, you may be questioning why that's not inward or on that side and vice versa. Getting an electrical socket or electrical point near to here, following regs, not in a shower, etc., and in your zones, it just weren't possible. So I had to have the valve on that side. I don't think it looks bad. Um, it is what it is, um, and it is there and uh, accessible and as it needs to be. So while we're here, talk about lights. So before we're just a central light, four bell lighting, fire stay, spotlights installed, nice and modern. They're brilliant, and if I turn, just turn them off for the minute, so as you can see, we've got the brush stainless. That is just a magnetic cover, and under there is actually a switch, and it has three uh, sort of settings, so you can have daylight, cool white, warm white, at the flick of a switch just under there. I like daylight, um, I just think it's natural uh, and right for for what a room should be so that's them they are modules but i think they come with a seven year warranty um should they fail so that's good and then sort of the final piece <laughs> and the main thing on the bathroom that we wanted so we wanted a big shower and that's exactly what we've got now the shower enclosure itself is a crosswater design eight the tray is a mirror showers tray and it's 1200 by 900 offset quadrant um, and honestly it's huge i don't know if you can see me in here but i'm a big lad and there's loads of room so yeah that's uh, kind of the enclosure now that were the biggest we could fit in here the door placement was driven from the shower that we could have um, as I've explained earlier, um, all this is tanked, um, so no leaks or anything should be uh, uh, should happen. As you can see, it's a bit of a frameless design. I'm not overly happy with it. It's very sturdy. I'll give them that, but it's kind of only held in with silicon, and then this little drip uh, line there uh, to prevent drips. Now, that's that. It is what it is. Now. The shower itself, as you can see, it's fed from the ceiling, which is not normal, but again, it's because it is what it is, and I'll show you now. So the shower itself is a mirror showers, as you can see, and this is a digital shower. So it's not your conventional, you know, you have your hot and cold coming out of the wall and then you adjust it. This is something we can work office phone via an app so i'll just show you just close the door so we don't get wet so you can adjust the sort of water flow and the temperature and you also have sort of presets and um, when it loads there we go so you can sort of mine's there what i how i like it and then you've got various ones but it works very quickly and quite effectively i'm quite impressed with it too as you can see there, I've just cleaned it and probably changed the head, but yeah, and then you can change, you know, your temperatures there as de desired. And then to turn it off, look how quick it works. Really impressed with that. So it was a bit of a luxury, but it's something we wanted to give a go. Um, and 
The reason it's up there is because the module is under the bath. Again, we had to get an electrical supply to it and it had to be accessible. So it runs up the wall into, we haven't got an attic because the house is three stories. So we have a pipe that runs up there and comes in through the roof. And then it's a one piece pipe to avoid any issues. Um, and then the, obviously the module is under the bath accessible um, if you ever need to. So yeah, that's why it comes out of the ceiling. Now you might be asking, why didn't you go for a rainfall? Not my thing to be honest. I've been in loads of hotels that have had and I'm not a fan. I like your conventional sort of shower head and it's brilliant, it's perfect, just what we want. Now the pressure, we've got a, I'm not a plumber, but I think it's a pressurized system. Um, it's not bad, um, it covers you, there's plenty of water, it's just not like a power shower if you like, but it's, it's more than suitable. So then moving on, we have the niche that we've built as part with a contrast tile. It's the same um, brand, well, it's porcelain also in the same sort of range, the Rodano Kiro, um, but just slightly textured. And we think we will do a, something similar with that tile as a backsplash eventually, but we're not sure what yet. So we're just kind of leaving that. And that kind of concludes our bathroom. So in fact, the floor, so yeah, big job, completely replaced it. Um, but we've gone for Antico Smart Click Nordic Oak. I think it matches in fantastically. Um, and then that's finished with your Taurus one, skirting boards and architrave, all purchased from Skirtings For You. And then the floor online from a company, uh, I can't remember what they're called, I think you'll have, I'll have to dig it out. Um, they were terrible. They are. They sent me, they emailed me to send me, to tell me that the goods were damaged. Didn't offer any discount. Asked for a discount, gave me 10%, which is fair enough. When it got here, more planks were damaged. Fortunately, I could use them. And one of the boxes, my mistake, I didn't check. Completely different batch number. So really pinky in color compared to these ones. But fortunately, I had enough. So not a big deal, just annoying. So yeah, that's where I've been. And um, it's been a while, been a long time coming, but we, uh, we're done now and we can enjoy it. Get back to normal as we've only been able to use a bath that the tap was broke and we had to switch on the pliers. So it's nice to have a room that we can use again. So yeah, please do give it a thumbs up if you like it because um, we love it and uh, it's absolutely perfect. The next job is to get a door. I won't be doing that because I've got other things to do, um, but it should be cheap enough just to get matching oak doors like we've got downstairs and we're gonna do all up here at the same time. And then the next job is sort of just outside getting the stairs and landing renovated. So that's what you'll kind of see going forward. So yeah, that's a bit of the tour of our bathroom. Hope you like it. Please do give it a thumbs up and uh, drop your comments down below on what you think. Might not be to everyone's taste, but yeah, we love it. It's uh, really modern and uh, exactly what we wanted when we bought this house. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and uh, please do subscribe because I'm hoping to get back on the sort of train of getting videos done um, because we've got some interesting things coming up um, in the future. So please do keep your eyes peeled for that and uh, subscribe to be able to see them. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.